New video from the Oakland County Sheriff's Office shows the moment a deputy arrives on scene where a driver crashed a semi into a building. It happened earlier this morning on South Lapeer Road in Oxford Township. The deputy managed to pull the driver out, 40 year old guy. He had the help of firefighters as well. He suffered a head injury and was taken to the hospital. He's expected to be OK. The cause of the crash still under investigation, but drugs and alcohol do not appear to be factors. The FDA's vaccine advisory panel voted unanimously to recommend a booster dose for recipients of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. That extra dose would be for everyone age 18 and up at least two months after their first shot. The FDA and CDC still need to give their approval before the shots will be available. The panel also reviewed data that found those who received J&J &J showed a stronger immune response when they received a booster of Pfizer or Moderna. There was no vote, but... There was support for the FDA finding a way to allow J&J &J recipients more flexibility on a booster. This is an important um, option for people to have. Some would like a little more data. Some feel like this is enough data. Um, uh, and certainly whatever we did, we would be looking to collect more data um, uh, in the real world. Well, some on the panel also urged the FDA to consider lowering the age for boosters of Pfizer and Moderna to age 40 and up. A new study reveals lottery incentives did little to encourage people to get vaccinated against COVID-19. Michigan, of course, was one of 19 states that launched lotteries between April and July this year in the effort to boost vaccinations. Well, researchers from the University of Colorado Denver found those incentives had little to no effect convincing unvaccinated Americans to get the shot and that lotteries may be less enticing than actual cash for vaccines.